Good day, it is Stephen Davids here and in this video we will discuss solar lunar theory and fishing. Now what is solar lunar theory? Solar lunar theory uh, basically maintains that all animals are eating and uh, the eating time is determined by the position of the sun and the moon. Hence you get the term sol lunar consisting of sol solular plus lunar for the moon, sol lunar. Now the evidence for this theory are basically uh, threefolded or, or also more, but uh, these are the main usually strands, uh, that the uh, originator and the founder of the theory worked with uh, common the people's knowledge that it tried to, to, to prove uh, is right or wrong. He founded the theory and he showed that 90% of the catches were caught in that period. And this was also then Sam Mossman, uh, around 200, 2000 and something. He uh, saw that uh, during this period, 315 strike marlin were ca caught uh, versus uh, 462 during this period. Outside this period were 350, so there's a huge improvement. Then also there was an experiment on oysters by Frank Brown. Uh, two weeks after he took the oysters uh, into Chicago, he opened, uh, he saw that they opened up uh, during solar time when the moon was directly above or underneath them. Do not believe the solar theory start feeding the birds. It's very obvious that then you will notice that the birds come sometime, uh, usually come a certain period, and uh, then outside of that period they do not come. The birds you physically can see, the fish you can't see, the feeding them, even just for a temporary period, uh, shows you that there is something like a time when animals feed and that time is the solar time, so in a period. Now, just to get perspective, uh, there is an additional, um, this is an additional aid for fishing, uh, because there are still fish available outside of the solar period. Uh, so, <clears throat> it's like you sometimes skip meals, fish also do, and the stats shows it outside the solar period, there are fish, but the fish are best and mostly available inside that solar period. And the real world fact is that we fish when we have time. So if you don't have time during the solar period of time, that's okay. Because also other factors in uh, influence the availability of fish, for example, water temperature, air pressure, and the barometer. Now you get four solar periods in the solar day of 24 hours and 50 minutes. Uh, each period is uh, roughly uh, six hours and 10 minutes apart. And the periods are in a cycle of major, minor, major, minor period. The major periods last two hours. The minor periods last one hour. The elements determining solemn period, there are four elements. One element is the new or the full moon. Uh, in other words, when it's spring tide. The second period is if the sun, is, sorry, excuse me, if the moon is directly below or above you within that 24 hour 50 uh, minutes that the moon goes around the earth. The third factor is uh, one hour around sunrise and one hour around sunset. And that's another element that, it, that goes into the solar period determining it. And then also the one hour around moonrise and moonset. Just remember that moonrise and moonset do not necessarily happen at night. It can also happen at day. So taking the, all these four factors into consideration, thanks God for cellular tables, you do not need to have to calculate it. They calculate it for you. All you need to remember is that each period is about 6 hours and 12 minutes apart. And then the major Periods are then 12 hours and 24 minutes apart, roughly. You do get the solar periods at the uh, fishing tables or fishing sites. If you go to tides for fishing, just, uh, just have a look here. Here you get the two major periods uh, from the morning, 20 uh, past uh, 1, 2, and it's 2 hours. Uh, and the 
12 hours and around 12 hours uh, 24 minutes later you will get the other major period and during these major periods there are usually there can be high activities but the major period is a better period on the t on the tables you will then see if the major periods are very highly active like in this case due to circumstances and is also very highly active this um, date the, the t this solid in a tables on this date of the uh, 28th of October is very interesting because it shows that even you, though the minor periods usually is a period of lesser activity where you do not get such a high activity of fishing, it is also, in this case, very interesting, it's also a very high activity periods for fishing. So this just show you that although the minor period as a general rule is a less active it does not always need to be like that you must just uh, simply then look onto the tables themselves uh, if you don't have a cell phone with you 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 can uh, try to memorize it between major period uh, major period and the following period is in six hours 12 minutes and uh, then also another six hours 12 minutes major periods are then Two hours, mine two hours long. You can see it 20 to 220, uh, 12 to 14, and minor periods is usually one hour long. Thank you very much for watching this video. We love constructive comments and criticism. Please like, share, and subscribe.